Well, good morning, everyone. We are so glad that you're here with us today because we have the Praise Ensemble is with us. And those of you that uh, remember them from October, it was a tremendous Sunday morning of music that we enjoyed together. And we've been looking forward to having them come and uh, share with us their Christmas presentation. So that's what we're gonna be enjoying today. And uh, so I won't be preaching today, but uh, next Sunday I will be, but we wanna give this Sunday as uh, we gather together to just enjoy the Lord in worship and song today. But I would like to start off with this passage of scripture this morning, and uh, this is from the book of Psalms. Uh, would you read it together with me? Let's, let's read it together. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear it and rejoice. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. And that's exactly what we want to do this morning. Let's exalt his name together. And this is Ray. And Ray, would you come and uh, lead us in our opening carol today, if you would. Let us give joy, 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 joy to the Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature. Sing joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ, while fields and roads, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat. The sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glory of his righteousness and wonders of his love and wonders of his love. And wonders, wonders of his love. Amen. Thank you, Gary. And hello again. It's exciting to be here. This is our third visit this year, if you can believe it. June, October, and December. And, and here we are to honor the Lord and the day of his birth. And we're just excited about that. But let me reintroduce, for those of you who haven't been with us before, our group here, uh, Linda Stone, um, concert hall class pianist and also a composer. She will play for you an original composition to start the program. She has titled it Sunrise, and let's think of it as the sun rising on the day the Lord was born. Amen. And then going from your right to left, we have uh, Robert Stone, he's known as Linda's husband. <laughs> and sometimes Linda's known as Robert's wife. And uh, Robert is violinist with us, and also with the Calvary Symphony Orchestra. He's a busy violinist, and we appreciate having him here. And then from your right to left, we have Stan Taden, baritone, soloist, and narrator, because we have a story to tell. To, your, to his right, we have Jim Stratton, tenor and songwriter. To his right, Dan Durfee, tenor, and he is your song leader. Watch the screen, and he'll give a wave and a call when it's time for you to join in the singing, because we're gonna sing together today. Then to his right, we have Suzanne Ron, 
the most beautiful alto voice in Orange County. Amen. <laughs> also soloist and also a narrator. She is our other narrator. To her right uh, is a small miracle we call Liz Clark because less than 24 hours ago she was in South Dakota snowed in. And she couldn't get on the flight that she was supposed to, but she caught two flights to get here. At what time did you get home? 8.30. Got home at 8.30 last night, and here she is. Well, Liz, um, besides singing with us, plays the oboe and the guitar and the drum, and uh, so she's really three people, and you'll, you'll sense that as we present our program to you. To her right is Kristen Nitz, soloist, soprano, director, and I wasn't going to call her a drill instructor tonight, but she really is, so <laughs> she's our drill instructor. Uh, brothers and sisters, we are the Praise Ensemble. We bring to you a music program called Come Let Us Adore Him. You will hear the sun rising on the day the Lord was born, and then we will proceed with our program. <laughs> Christmas bells ring them loud with a message bringing peace on the earth, tidings of good cheer. Come, carolers, come and join with the angels singing joy to the world. Christmas time is here. Children, gather around and listen. You'll hear the sound of angels filling the sky, telling Yeah. 
join with the angels singing joy to the world. Christmas time is here. Sing Gloria, Gloria. In the Chelsea's day, oh, sing Gloria. In the Chelsea's day. sent from God to Mary in Nazareth, a virgin engaged to Joseph, who was a descendant of David. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. When Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, her husband, being a righteous man, and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. But when he had considered this, Behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the son who has been conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call him his name, Joseph, a Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins.
What will he be? Oh, yes, he'll be mighty. He will be worthy, filled with all wisdom. And we shall know the coming of his And Caesar Augustus decreed that a census be taken and everyone must return to his own city to be counted. Joseph went from Galilee to Bethlehem to register because he was of the house of David, taking Mary with him where the days were completed for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Joy to the world. Will you join us now? Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men the songs him born. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy.
And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terribly frightened. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy. For today there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord.
audience, won't you join us, please? Audience, would you join us for the second verse? Just as the Nativity has been celebrated by these wonderful carols, so too it has been honored with many, many great and beautiful portrayals of that holy morning, like those we are about to see. But first, this. Join us again, won't you please?
I join us. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, three magi arrived in Jerusalem from the east, seeking the foretold child king of the Jews. For they had seen his star in the east and had come to worship him. When Herod heard this, he was troubled and asked the chief priests and teachers where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written which says, For you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. again, please. Thank you. 
first held Mary's child were hard from working wood. From boards they sawed and planed and filed, and splinters they withstood. This day they gripped no tool of steel, they drove no iron nail, but cradled now from head to heel, O Lord, new bound, new born and frail. Yet the prophets tell when he is grown, salvation will be in him alone. Now he is Joseph's daily joy, whose soaring heart and singing psalms give praises to his beloved boy. But wielded soon in sinful pride, those tools will strike against this child, this promised gift so mild. Bringing him to death, crucified. And on that day, with questions answered and promise kept, his life is given that we may say, now, always and forever. Christ be the way.
God for his son. Thank you for your gracious attendance. And I think I would be remiss if I didn't remind us, me in particular, of the people behind the scenes. This simply wouldn't be possible without your own Jacob back there at the control board and our own Daryl Rice. He's our audio and visual guy. He's our troubleshooter. He's our behind the scene guy just would not be possible without that kind of support. What they do is just as important as what we've done today. So thank you. Praise God for his son. And Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> Indeed.